You're watching Adorama TV. Hi everybody, welcome to this episode of Adorama TV. I'm Mark Wallace. Well, this week we're going to look at a new iPad magazine from Kelby Training. It's called Light It. Now, this magazine is pretty cool. It's free, which is a huge bonus. Uh, so, uh, I'm not sure exactly how often they're going to release this magazine, but it looks like when you install this app about once a month, you can download a new magazine or a new issue. And this premier issue's got some articles by Joe McNally, Jeremy Cowart's in there. There's all kinds of people that you've seen here on Adorama TV. So a lot of really good content. And so what I wanna do is dive in a little bit deeper and take a look at Light It. Let's take a closer look at Light It Magazine from Kelby Training. Now the cool thing is when you open this up, you're gonna have a little button right here that says Issues. Now right now there's only one issue, that's August 2011, but maybe by the time you see this, there's gonna be a bunch of different issues. And so you can download them, and once you pick the one you like, you just click it, and it loads it right into the magazine. Now what we can do here is we can uh, just click at the very bottom and hold and drag through this and we can see exactly what's happening in the magazine. So I'm gonna zip back here. I wanna know about these five different looks from a single softbox. And blammo, there it is. My friend Zach Arias has written this really awesome article about how to get five different looks from a single softbox. And you can see how to do all of these different portraits. And that's sort of the flavor of this magazine. There's just a lot of hands-on stuff that you can do. And the content is just pretty spectacular. In fact, if you really want to know what's going on in the magazine, at the very left-hand side of the button, uh, a screen, there's a little button here. And you can see that you get thumbnail views of all the articles in the magazine. And so you can just zip to anywhere you want to go with just a single click. So I can go on here and just click on that. And look at that, tilt shift lenses. And so you can see how that will impact your photography on location. And so it's a perfect companion for anybody that's learning about outdoor photography, studio photography, even some video stuff. It's really, really cool. In fact, check this out. I'm gonna go in here. I'm gonna zip over here. There's an awesome article by Mr. Joe McNally, one of our friends. And if we want to, we can listen to Joe talk to um, Scott. And so here it is. Here is the Light It How To magazine for studio lighting and off-camera flash. And there it is, Joe McNally and Scott, and they're chatting up. And you can see all kinds of really, really cool things. So I'm gonna pause that. And so all this content is embedded and it's just got a lot of stuff. It's really, really cool. Now, if you want to, you can flip this to be a horizontal magazine. So let me do that really quick. All right, now that I've rotated this, you can see that this magazine is now a two-page setup. Now, what I wish would have happened is this to behave like a real iPad app where the single page was formatted for a horizontal layout, which it's not. So this is something that I think that uh, Lightit needs to change. They need to make their iPad app a true iPad app, meaning that it's uh, formatted for both horizontal and vertical layouts, not simply a vertical layout with a two-page layout when you go horizontal. But beside that, I think this is a phenomenal application and the content is really spectacular. Well, that's Light It. It's a great magazine from Kelby Media. Now, one of the things I found very interesting was this letter from the editor. It's right in the front of the magazine where Scott Kelby talks about the actual navigation that he wanted to use in the magazine. He wanted it to be very clean and easy. He said that he didn't like uh, some of these iPad magazines where the navigation was hard to understand. He said he wanted to have a magazine where he didn't have to go through a tutorial on how to read the magazine. And I think they've done a very good job of that with Light It. And one of the things though, I think they've sacrificed with some of that navigation is the ability to have a fully functional uh, interactive magazine on the iPad. So for example, this is just a normal port of a vertical magazine. So if you go horizontal, well, you're not getting any new features. And so that's a big downfall, I think, of this uh, magazine. It should have layouts both vertical and horizontal. Not only that, but there's not a lot of interactive features in this magazine. There's some videos that are embedded but there aren't like scrolling text and things you can zoom in and out of. There's not panoramas. There's a lot of the stuff that Adobe applications that allow you to do on Android and iPad apps, well, they just aren't here in this magazine. It's got clean uh, navigation, but other than that, I think this magazine needs to beef it up a little bit to stay competitive with other interactive magazines like Wired Magazines and others that we've featured in on Adorama TV in the past. So I will give it high marks for content and okay marks for delivery.
Well, there you have it. That's my opinion of this brand new app and magazine called Light It from Kelby Media. I hope you'll download it because it's free and based on that alone, it's worth every single page that you can read. Well, thanks for joining me. If you have a suggestion for other iPad apps for me to check out, send those to me at askmark at adorama.com. Thanks again, and I'll see you next week. This episode is brought to you by Adorama TV. Visit the Adorama Learning Center where you'll find photography tips and techniques, links to the gear used in this episode, and related videos. For all the latest photography, video, and computer gear, visit adorama.com. And the next time you're in New York City, visit our store located on 18th Street between 5th and 6th Avenue.